How's it going guys? This is Vaughn, back here with more American Truck Simulator, as usual. Uh, it's been a little while, <laughs> been a little while since the last upload, a couple days. So we're doing a little bit of a longer video this time, to kind of make up for that. Uh, hence, no uh, wheel cam, because my camera battery would not be able to last the whole time. <laughs> but uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the road, and uh, then we'll talk all about it. So, what we're driving today is the International HX 520. It is a completely free truck on the Steam Workshop. Uh, it's made by Harbin. And uh, I will link it in the description so you can go and get it if you don't have it already. There's absolutely no reason you shouldn't have this truck. <laughs> Highly recommend it. And it's a, it's a hell of a truck, considering it's free. Uh, what we're driving is the 73-inch sleeper version. Um, we've got my favorite engine in there right now, the Cummins ISX 15. 600 horsepower, not the straight pipes, um, just the base engine. Uh, 6x4 chassis on there, 18 speed. Uh, I don't believe it has a retarder in it though. Um, so that's basically that. And we're at our garage in East Glacier, uh, part of the ATS expansion mod. And we're driving to a KND cattle over in... Oh shoot, I can't remember the name of the town. I gotta look that up. It starts with a C. Chinook, that's where we're headed. Yeah. Uh, for some reason my GPS didn't say that. There we go. Alright. The reason I want to go over there is because I've never been down this stretch of road, so I thought it'd be cool if we just kind of drove down this, uh, this stretch of road and stopped at one of those locations and then picked up a shipment. So, we're kind of doing that. So it's going to be a lo little bit of a longer video, but uh, I'm sure you guys don't mind that. So, <clears throat> let's get rolling here. Headlights on. Looking good. Nice detail in this truck. Really, really like that. Even though it's a basic skin, uh, still looks good. I mean, we're gonna... I'm gonna definitely do a skin for this truck. For sure, if I can uh, locate the uh, templates. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Anyways, get back in our cab here, and we'll get going. Oh, shoot. I don't believe I started my head tracking thing. So I'm here looking around and I know it's on, but I don't have the thing tracking. Give me just a second. I'm going to actually have to go out of the game to do that. So I'll be back in a sec. There we go. Now we're looking around freely. Uh, I did also adjust the, uh, the seat a little bit. So we are good to go. So let's get rolling out of here. Oh, parking brake off. Now let's get rolling out of here. <laughs> We can get on up to uh, five high here, so. Let's just do six. We're cruising. Ah, those stupid warnings. Don't like you. Sometimes we need to be able to go a decent speed to get up these hills, so. Ah, that's irritating. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's uh let's turn <laughs> turn those off. Uh, let's see audio. I think. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, speed warning. Yep. All right. Um. Everything else should be fine. While we're here, I'm gonna also move my mic stand back just a little bit. <clears throat> that way, I'm not hitting it when I uh go to shift. There we go. That's that's better. Uh, yeah, you can tell it's been a minute since <laughs> I've uploaded last because everything's all out of whack. I'm out of whack, too. We'll stay here as we climb this hill. Oh, beautiful snow. Whoa, I'm gonna hit the wall. The walls are not soft, like regular snow would be. Oh, and we're slipping around a little bit. Oh, 
watch out on these turns. Okay, we're out of the snow, so no more sliding around. And we're taking off now. I don't believe there's another hill coming up that we gotta get speed for, but just in case. Whoa! <laughs> Go off the edges there. Going to seven, because we're actually uh we're actually speeding around over here. We're getting our brand new truck dirty. Oh shoot. Slim, simmer down. Simmer down, Vaughn. Screwed myself now because I had to slow down for that. Okay, we're fine now. I'm just in a rush to get out of here for no reason. Yeah, just hanging out up there. What a beautiful spot up here. I would never want to leave this place if I lived here. Our cell phone <clears throat> that's mounted up here unfortunately is dead. We forgot to pack our, our phone charger before leaving the house, so... After a long day of trucking around and Using it for the GPS, which is really pointless because we already have a GPS, an onboard one. Uh, nonetheless, we uh, we killed our battery and neglected to bring the charging cable. Uh, if I had a friend with me in here, I could probably bug them for one, but I do not. It's I'm riding solo today. Although, honestly, what I should do is buy one of them, uh, magnetic charge charging cables, but, uh... I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, no, we're crawling now. Come on, can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, go to three. Oh, it's right there. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Man, really screwed myself on that one. I'm just anxious to get out on the road. As much as I love this uh, scenic drive here, make sure it's to make the drive over to Chinook. I hope that's how it's pronounced. <clears throat> I was corrected on my pronunciation of, uh, <laughs> of Lyman, Colorado when I called it Lamon. Mr. Spig called me out on that one. You can probably hear our wheel going crazy in the background. Force feedback. <clears throat> I have it tuned up to about 100%, so. Okay, this would be a little bit of a smoother ride once I get onto the road here. Oi, big bumps. Big bumps. It's sharp turns. <laughs> Don't want to upend this trailer. I mean this uh, truck. That would be bad before we even get on the road.
Whew, all right, made it. Barely, but we did. Uh, Nova Custom Logging. That's us. All right, we're good to go. Oh. There we go. Now we're on our way. That is a workout, getting out of that site when your um, when your force feedback is turned up to 100%. <laughs> First exit. Is that this one? Yeah. Exit now. Okay. We have to keep watch of our speed here because uh, I don't have the uh, sound warning on anymore. And I know that's a bothersome thing to hear, but it's good for me to have because I, I get so carried away with talking that I'm not watching the speed and. Stuff like that. Okay, we're going. Jeez. Um. So. New developments happening. Happening, as always. So I haven't been, uh, hadn't been uploading the last couple days because I've just kind of seriously been needing some recuperation. Uh, from... Uh, let's pass this guy, he's going slow. Well, so much for that. <laughs> uh, just general, um... You know, just getting recuperated. Um, I've, uh, been suffering real bad from allergies the last few days. Uh, I talked about it in the last video how I was, uh, sick again. Uh, still a little bit hanging around in my voice, and I do apologize if, uh... I'm gonna try, uh, to, uh, as much as possible to not cough. I'm gonna try as much as possible to suppress that, but... Um... Uh, yeah, I've got a... It's a dry cough, but it's because of, you know, stuff in my throat is trying to get loose, and all that stuff that the body does on its own, so I'm trying to battle that and uh, also try to keep sipping my drink here uh, I, you'll probably see a picture on the screen right now uh, I'm, I'm gonna brag about my uh, my uh, cup holder that I've got attached to my GT Omega wheel stand um, and I'm drinking ice pot prime right now it's pretty good uh, I'm trying to you know sip on that keep the cough at bay and stuff because uh, it doesn't matter how much I drink it, I could drink gallons and gallons of water or Gatorade or Pedialyte whatever and my throat will be dry constantly just because of all the drainage going on it's the most irritating things it's like dryness makes me cough and it makes me sound horrible even though I don't necessarily feel horrible I feel definitely better oh come on dude really Trying to ruin our day. Um, so, yeah, I needed some recuperation with that. And then, uh, of course, still dealing with a little bit of jaw pain lingering around since the wisdom teeth were taken out. Um, I've been having to give a lot more attention to what I chew. Because uh, I had been feeling... I'd been feeling overconfident... Uh, and complacent. Uh, made a huge mistake of going. Okay, thank God he's turning. All right. Made the uh, bad mistake of uh, going out with some friends to eat uh, sushi uh, on the Sunday following my surgery, which the surgery was done on a Wednesday, so that's not very long. Not very long of a time to give myself, uh, you know, the necessary, uh, recuperation, recovery, healing time. Uh, so, big mistake. 
Sushi is probably one of the worst things you can eat because of how how chewy it is, and uh, it, yeah, it was it was horrible. I suffered the entire time, um, and I'm, I was still feeling the the repercussions. So I've been giving a lot more attention to what I've been chewing, trying to stay on softer stuff, and um, it doesn't help that I also uh, clench my jaws when I sleep. Uh, I believe that's called. Oh man, I keep. I keep forgetting what it's called, and I, I know that I have that issue, because I... What do you call it? I tried one of those apps uh, that monitors your sleeping activity, so you kind of... It's kind of creepy, but you leave it. You leave your phone plugged in by, the, by your bedside table, and it records you, uh, the sounds, while you sleep. Um, stuff like that. So, the reason I'd done that was because I wanted to monitor that. Um, it was kind of suggested to me by my dentist not not that he recommended to use the app but he he recommended that i um not well maybe not recommend i think he kind of mentioned that i could be suffering from that and he told me the name and i looked up much information about it but i can't remember what it's called now I'm sure somebody could remind me but it doesn't help that i i have that issue and i've had it for a, a while even before the surgery like I'm talking years I've had that because I've always uh, some days worse than others woken up with uh, job pain and stuff like that and since I looked up the information and I'm a lot more aware and conscious about it I constantly catch myself doing it throughout the day as well so I probably you know constantly did it and never even gave it a second thought just it's just one of those subconscious things that you do and don't even think about it um, and so, trying to do better about that, because it's a nervous thing for me that I do that. Um, and then I think what I'd read about it happening at night is because of stress and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going off a tangent about that, but still dealing with that as well. And I had also determined that a probably, probably a big cause of that was not getting enough sleep, because last few days with the allergies and everything it's i've been screwing myself over by taking naps during the day which means i don't fall asleep at night until three four in the morning and have to be up at nine for work and stuff like that so it's i'm i'm getting sleep that sleep during the day but then it still comes back and bites me in the ass because um i'm not i'm not getting my normal sleep at night which means i'm not getting good the right quality of sleep and that's that's where the issue is man i'm speeding big time through here my bad slow run down um so yeah I, I had been screwing myself over by taking naps during the day and then uh at night when i uh, man get ready to turn ah copper right there too dang Ah, well. Turn right. Yeah, we just we deserve that left. one, I guess. Alright. Nobody coming. An immediate Turn left here. Left. Uh clear there. Uh, is he stopping? Oh they don't stop. Okay. Cross traffic, don't stop. Alright. I turned way too wide. <laughs> Not need to do that. Um, yeah. So what I what I would do when I would not uh, sleep because I had already slept during the day is I'd get on my computer and I, you know, drive around in ATS or I'd work on skins or other projects and things like that and. You know, being on the computer with the blue light and all that crap makes it harder to fall asleep as well, so. Yeah, that was a bad cycle. Uh, my sleeping cycle had been all messed up. So what I did uh, the other night was, instead of working on skins, um, I basically 
took some uh, supplements that I keep around for nights like that when I can't sleep, and it put me out. Uh, I went to sleep at, uh, which I usually go to sleep pretty early anyway, but with the whole allergy thing and feeling tired throughout the day, I was, I was messing it up by sleeping during the day, um, which I don't do too often, stuff like that anyway. Um, yeah, I took some supplements and got really, really, really good sleep, finally, um, last night. So even though I still woke up tired, I feel so different <laughs> today. After several days of not getting good quality sleep, even though I was obviously getting all the hours of sleep, way too much actually, but it just wasn't good quality sleep, um, it feels so much better today surprising surprising how all that stuff fits in together so allergy wise obviously i still have it but um overall energy is is back where it needs to be even my uh jaw pain hasn't been as bad because i was just talking to my family about it too uh that i was starting to get really bad um jaw pain where it'd shoot up to my ear as well and anybody that's had ear aches or ear infections will tell you that's one of the worst feelings ever and it is i mean it would it would cause migraines and stuff like that so i hadn't attributed it to lack of good sleep until you know i decided last night that i wasn't i wasn't going to hop on the computer i wasn't going to do anything i was just going to go to sleep and uh, that was holy cow, dude! Really, a police officer? What are you doing, fool? Um, yeah, just decided that I was gonna do that instead, and that was the best thing I could have done. So, feeling a lot better today, even though I still have you know same symptoms and everything. So that was a whole tangent that I just went on about that, but you know it also helps. Um, okay, seven is approaching, there we go, okay. I saw this, the clock up there is almost about to strike 7 p.m., so I just wanted to double check if I had the headlights on, which I did. Um, it's also just a good thing to do as far as getting good rest and stuff, because I also suffer from clinical depression and anxiety disorder, so not having good sleep really screws you, because uh, you're... You know, for my for my job, I'm not. I work in IT, so I'm not having to go places. I'm not having to be around people, but I still have to think on my feet a lot of times, being on customer calls and meetings and figuring out problems. So, uh, it's definitely not a good feeling when you're 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 like severely drained and having to go off of caffeine because it's kind of like you're being your body is being shocked. <laughs> In order to stay awake, you're not staying awake off of energy. It's like caffeine shock. So you're drained, but also wired at the same time, and that's a horrible, horrible feeling. It makes makes you more nervous and prone to anxiety. Um, more, you know, on top of the disorder that I have. So yeah, it's not good anyway. Uh, I'm glad we get to pass the uh, way station there. I actually hadn't been to... I don't think I've been to that one. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, because I haven't discovered this area yet. Please do not... Oh, Jesus. Okay, I thought was, lane was going to end. Ugh, people are cutting in front of me, man. That's annoying. <clears throat> so anyway... Um, which normally I, you know, don't mind at all, you know, getting online. Because... Um, the other things that I would do is hang out with the guys and convoy, uh, drive around and stuff, uh, which is so, so fun every time. Um, but I had been kind of doing that and sacrificing sleep. So now that I have been doing that, ooh, accident up here, that's not good. Uh, this guy's slowing down for, please don't stop in the road. Are you stopping in the road? My man, are you stopping in the road? Wow. Oh shoot, that's not five. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I put I put the, the thing in the gear slot before flicking the switch. So that was my mistake. Alright. 
Seriously. Um, people have grown too slow. We almost had that light. Ah. <laughs> what in the world, man? Got the light anyway. Shoot. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Uh, so, now that I did that, took care of sleep and everything, I feel tons better today. And you know what? I'm going to do the same thing tonight. Get to bed at a reasonable hour and get good sleep. And Which, I knew that too, because, you know, as your body's fighting the allergies all day and fighting the, uh, uh, not necessarily fighting, but trying to heal from the surgery and stuff like that, needs its rest. And that was obvious from the fact that I was needing to take naps during the day, but, um, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't waiting until nighttime to just sleep straight through. Uh, I was trying to take shortcuts. So, you know, that's lesson learned. That's what I'm going to do different. So. Uh, the other thing that's been happening is um, something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is I uh, started a podcast, and uh, it's along the same lines as some of the other uh, horror fiction podcasts that I would listen to. Um, there's a ton of them on uh, Spotify and YouTube as well that are incredible. Um, the stories, the sound design and everything is, is great. Uh, that, that kind of stuff keeps me company all the time when I'm driving in American trucks and just, you know, I, I just strap on my headphones and drive and drive and drive, listen to hours of podcasts. So it had been inspiring me to want to do something like that. Um, of along the same lines but also putting a twist on it and stuff so I uh, started it uh, today I wanted to do a kind of similar thing kind of come up with a story each episode is a different story so none of them really connect to each other I'm sure at some point I could probably do like a multi-episode type of thing where they're all kind of intertwined and stuff like that but for now we're just doing different stories every episode and I'll try to do one episode a week uh, just 30 minutes or so not too long but uh, it is called marked by malevolence and it by now should be on uh, at the very least uh, Spotify Apple podcasts and uh, Amazon music uh, I'm going to get probably a YouTube podcast um, thing set up for it, too. It's a little down to 30 here. Um, so that's what's uh, going on with that. It's... Uh... Get ready to turn left. Oh, here we are. Chinook. Oh, man. What is that? It's a big old thing. Um... It's uh, just something I'm trying out. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I'm kind of in that in that phase where I'm just wanting to try a bunch of new stuff. Stuff I've never done before. And a lot of stuff that, you know, different friends of mine have done for years and years and years. And I, for some reason, spent way too much time doing one thing and not other things. So, and I kind of talked about that before in my one of my other previous videos that I uh, am a drummer as well. That I, I played drums for years and years and got burnt out on it. Wanted to just explore other stuff, so then I kind of went, went to guitar and I've been keeping my interest in that, stuff like that. Uh, I think we pull right here to see the jobs. So... All right, freight market is what we want. Oh, nice. So we've got stones. Ooh, that's a new one. Pretty short drive over to Lewistown. Nice. We'll take it. There it is. 
Uh, so let's see, do we, uh, yes, yeah, so we gotta go in front. So I can double. Love this, uh, ATS expansion. Um, love the features, all the, uh, spots you get. And uh, detail to it too is awesome. Yeah, that's an ugly buzzer. Imagine if that was your alarm in the morning. Man, I'd hate waking up more than I already do. Uh, all right, we're big, getting backed up in here. Oh, oh, not completely straight, but yeah, it wasn't bad. We'll attach. Cool. All right. Let's get rolling. Rerouting. When possible, make a U-turn. Way ahead of you, Sky. Sorry about that. Took a swig of my drink here, and that's why my camera went up. Um, you don't really have to do that. We're, uh... We're going the right way, Sky, I assure you. Oh, goodness. Maybe it's just a rough signal out here. Rough GPS signal. Nice cattle over there. Just chilling. Yeah, so I'm kind of in that phase of just wanting to, just wanting to try new new things, um, and I I've really really been enjoying it. Um, Turn left. Sorry, I'm gonna need to interrupt myself for just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Felt a cough coming on. <laughs> Had to get it out. All right, going left up here, so we're good to go. So it looks like we're going to be dropping off at night time, so should be fun. Up to forty-five here. So there's a there's quite a few things that I've picked up pretty recently that I had never really done before, and uh, like I said, it's stuff that uh, friends of mine have been doing for years and years and years. Went to eight high here, stick around there. So stuff like uh, you know skateboarding, which I've I've owned a skateboard obviously for a long time but never really got serious about it. It was a very very casual thing. Um, so having friends that are really good skaters you know makes you want to get better at it too. Um, I've got friends that n really know how to cook uh, which I know the basics but I'm, I'm, I'm no master chef. I'm not even a amateur chef yet. Uh, so I've been trying to get into that as well, learning how to cook different stuff. Um, so I've really just kind of sunken my teeth into it. Uh, bought a few cookbooks, looked up a ton of recipes. Uh, I really want to learn how to make uh, different types of ramen. That's my uh, that's my adventurous food right there. Because. Uh, you don't really know how complex and intricately, like, um, layered together ramen is until you, like, until you look up the recipes and such. Like, the one I was looking, looking at the other day was tonkatsu ramen. 
and every every little thing in there is so it, it's it there's so much effort that has to go into it every little piece to make it good um so stuff like that that i really i really enjoy learning uh just you know oh look at that that's cool <laughs> that's awesome wish i knew what kind of plane that was uh Yeah, I don't know planes, but definitely cool. Flying down beyond the sunset. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. It's it just it just keeps everything fun instead of doing the same old stuff all the time, getting burnt out. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I still want to, you know, try to do new stuff as, as long as I still can. Turn right. And, uh... Even from the, uh... You know, mental health point of view as well. Uh... It's it really does a lot to benefit your I guess to keep you elevated to keep you sharp when you keep trying new things and looking for ways to stay motivated because that's a big big issue is staying motivated even to do basic things so keeping it fun and keeping your interests wide I think really helps. So, I apologize for going off on another tangent about that, but going back to the podcast. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so the first episode, I'll give you a brief summary of it. <clears throat> it's basically called uh, The Sun Chaser. And it's called The Sun Chaser because the story revolves around a... a... Uh, a pair of characters that are aboard a cruise ship um, called the Sun Chaser and the trip ends up being a um, basically a planned shipwreck by the captain who is obsessed with um, I guess he's obsessed with finding certain relics and creatures from ancient times, ocean creatures from ancient times, and he is basically following a ritual uh, to essentially bring out those creatures according to the way that they uh, are supposed to be summoned. So I, uh, I thought that it was a pretty good um, premise for a story, <clears throat> for a, you know, a little audio experience type thing for a podcast. And I like that with the podcast, it's, it's short and it's concise and it's, I think it keeps it more entertaining when it's different rather than it being a long drawn out novel. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, attention spans are short nowadays, so a lot of people will hear enough of one thing and want to move on to something else. So, uh, and it makes it easier to write, <laughs> that's for sure. Because you don't have to be, you don't have to be as detailed. Uh, you can, you can be vague with certain things, detailed in other things. And honestly, it, with it being audio, uh, you can add anything you want to it. So, like, I, I added, you know, a music score and different sound effects, and I try to keep the uh, the actual dialogue pretty minimal. That's one of the, the little things I'm doing different, just because there's a lot of podcasts where it, uh, it they use... Uh, oh, road work ahead. We got the green light, so we're good. I don't think we got to... Probably just slow down to be more considerate of the zone um 
a lot of podcasts and stories use character dialogue and I want to try to do it differently um, I think that you actually get to say and spell out more things by not using character dialogue and instead just kind of painting what's going on from a, a narrator's perspective so in that episode there's there's some character dialogue but very minimal um so i actually kind of like it that way um and i guess as a side bonus benefit or bonus um you don't have to hear me fail at doing different character voices uh, which i which i suck at <laughs> so you instead just get to listen to to my golden voice um, narrating the entire thing <clears throat> so yeah I definitely uh, gave a lot of attention to the sound and uh, you know it's not gonna be the best because it's my first you know shot at it and, uh, Keep right, and then turn right. but I definitely looked up you know a lot of helpful information on how to really bring the sounds out make it immersive stuff like that so hopefully you guys enjoy it uh, I definitely implore you to go check it out if you like that kind of stuff um, I would I would kind of label it as like scary suspense type stuff um, but uh, it's uh, it's clean there's no explicit uh, gory horror content in there it's uh it's clean and uh it's i feel like it's immersive and it's it, it's entertaining um i also kind of another thing that i do a little bit different uh which i think there, there are there are podcasts that do it but i also split it into chapters so it's easy to leave off if you can't finish it and then come back later um and there's there's points in there where it where I announce you know chapter three or chapter five, so and so. So that's kind of a little marker. Once you hear that, you can you can pause it there, come back later, rewind ten seconds to pick it up, uh, stuff like that. So uh, I definitely put a lot of work into it, uh, into the story itself, and the I guess the the plot, the um, you know minimal development of characters but trying to really show uh you know their emotions and how they're experience how they're experiencing the 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 situation and uh kind of giving some insight into how they think and things like that so really hope you guys uh do enjoy it if you like stuff like that i i will say it's not it's probably not for you if you don't if you can't handle suspenseful stuff I'm not saying there's anything really, really, you know, shocking in it, because it's not, obviously, with it being clean. Um, but I just know some people are really squeamish about that stuff, and uh, they don't like the adrenaline feeling that you get when you listen to really suspenseful stuff. Because um, the, the awesome thing about, you know, sound design is you can make it really really immersive and with this with the sound effects and the the score it really draws you in and so that's something that really appeals to me and that's something that i wanted to try to accomplish with this uh wanted it to be as immersive as possible oh, back up to 45. so yeah that's another thing that i uh that I worked on, and uh, I'm gonna try to do some more. Um, obviously, my ATS content, uh, ATS content isn't going anywhere. I'm still gonna be putting that out, obviously. Um, but this is just kind of another side hustle, if you will. And uh, it's honestly. 
you know, every, everything that I do, the, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, sir, we're gonna have to cut in front of you here. I could not really see you coming from where we were at, so... Sorry about that. Oh, someone on a speeding ticket, Mr. Police Officer. And then continue straight on. Man, it's actually nice to be able to see out of my mirrors. <laughs> Is that, uh... Keep right, and then turn right. Oops. Turn right. Okay, he's... stopped, so we're gonna go ahead and go. Uh, you know, it's just something that I, I wanted to do just because I wanted to do it. Keep right, and then continue straight on. I think everybody should do whatever they want to do that on. will bring them joy and keep stuff interesting. I don't think anybody keep should... Right. And then continue straight on. Um, and that includes YouTubers and people that... Um, okay, we get it. We get... we Yeah, we get it, Sky. We're going straight. Keep right, and then continue straight on. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Continue straight on. Um. Even YouTubers and... Oh my god. Okay, I'll just shut up. Sorry. Turn left. And then turn right. Turn right. Okay, is this us? I think so. Yeah, we are right there. Oh, it's an easy drop as well. well that's awesome. Always love a nice and easy drop. Okay, so we're gonna bring it on back over here. Hopefully we're lined up okay. Nice, we did it. Not the straightest drop, but good enough. Okay. Yeah, uh, case in point. I, I think that anyone who puts out content or whatever should just always do what they enjoy. I don't think anybody should be tied down and be pressured into doing stuff for other people, you know, other people's demands and everything. Because what's the point of doing what you love if, if you're pressuring yourself to do it. Any, anyway, it took me a while to get there, but I did. <laughs> uh, so anyway, hopefully you guys uh, feel compelled to check that out and you guys do enjoy it. Uh, if not, if it's not your thing, absolutely fine. But uh, yeah, just wanted to uh, kind of pimp that out and everything. So thanks for joining me on this drive. We took uh, some stones from Chinook to Lewistown. It took... Four and a half hours, 27.7 gallons consumed, 203 miles. We got an excellent, we got some nice uh, money from that as well. Um, so I'll have a link to the uh, the truck, the free truck and the Steam Workshop, as well as to ATS Expansion, um, the uh, forum post that has the mod there, as well as Recon's uh, YouTube channel. So you can go and check out some footage of it. Um, he's got a link to the Discord as well and his uh, channel, so definitely check that out. I'm going to pimp that out, too, for sure. So, yeah, that is that. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me on this, and thanks for putting up with me and my babbling. Uh, please uh, subscribe if you enjoy this content. Please drop a like while you're at it. I appreciate the love and support, guys, as always. really means a lot. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Take care and have a good one.